Little Tula, she is having the worst time with other dogs. We go for a walk, it's like one out of three, they try to attack her. Like what's going on? She's become scared of other dogs. If your dog has the same problem, you need to watch this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the button to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Little Tula has been having the worst problems lately. We go up to the tracks, to the trail to go for a walk. I'm going for a run, a bike ride, just a walk. And it seems to me like more often than not, we have a negative dog encounter. For whatever reason, there just seems to be more dogs, or more people out walking their dogs during this time of COVID and you know less other things to do. There just seems to be more bigger dogs for whatever reason. And she just seems, I don't know what it is. Is she giving off this like dog vibe? For whatever reason, these like, you know, it seems like one, once a day when I'm out for a walk, there's gonna be one large dog that's gonna key in on her and aggressively run at her. Poor little thing. To the point where you are getting really nervous and scared. We're like, okay, I gotta do something. In today's video, I'm gonna try three different things to see if I can make Tula's experience out meeting other dogs for more positive. Well, I can somewhat relate to little Tula. May or may not surprise you that I was the not the most confident kid growing up. Yeah, a little shorter, whatever. I'm not gonna delve back into my background in history. Regardless, it's kind of shy. Way more inclined to hang out with animals than I was with people. So that being said, as a young adult, hmm, anytime I'm in a big social situation, what was I looking for? Something to give me courage. The liquid courage. I'm going out, not feeling super confident. What better way than a little shot? Mm. Ah, that's water. There's something else, actually far more effective, much safer, actually healthy in the form of liquid courage. It is this guy, it is CBD arcanamidiol. One of the big benefits of CBD is that it can help lower anxiety. Clearly little Tula has anxiety, but in a natural way. So this is my supplement, Dr. Jones's Ultimate CBD for Dogs and Cats. When we're looking at doses, it's about one milligram per 10 pounds of body weight, up to twice daily. Little Tula, she's about 20 pounds. She get a little over two milligrams, just one little drop. And next is desensitization counter conditioning. I want to expose Tula to what she's scared of, but in a controlled way, so it's not going to sort of blow up again and her be scared all over again. So we're going to go walk up to the tracks again, right up to the places where she's had these like negative experiences. These dogs have run at her. So here we are at the site of where most of the events seem to happen. Just at the path, the rail trail above our house. So far, so good. Good girl. Fun up here. Good things happen. Maybe I'm up here. You're out. You're all secure on your leash. Lots of positive reinforcement. And for being so confident, <gasps> what do we have, little good girl? Can you see? It? We have a little dog treat. Yum. Mmm. Good girl. There. Oh. She does seem a little bit calmer. Maybe the CB, CBD is helping, I don't know. Number three is like positive reinforcement. I want her to have a positive experience while she's meeting other dogs. So guess what? This isn't going to be sort of this random chance on, oh, let's see who we meet today on the rail trail. We're setting it up with a dog that she knows. Look, Tula, I think it's another dog. Oh, look, good girl. And for her to be like, ah. Oh, Kind of good. There's another dog down there. Maybe it's hard to make out that other dog. The Tula is confident. She's on a leash with me. She's seen the other dog in the distance and she's like, eh, it's all good. It's Peppy! 
There is no need to fear. Yes. Oh. Wow. Positive dog interaction. Oh, hello, hipster. I could even let you off a leash. Let's let her off a leash, Eliza. Pippi. Tula, look, Tula. It's another dog to play with. Tula, Pippi. Good girl, Tula. Okay, no, now they need they need to play. Pippi. No, she needs to play with Pippi. Ah. You just had a haircut. I I had a haircut, you're right. He's pretty good, but he does a nice He's, thunder. Oh, but look at him. He's like she's he's totally fine with her. And but yeah, he's bigger. Brant, good boy. Oh yes. <laughs> I know we're trying to get Tula to play. But Tula's not playing with anything. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Venery Secrets. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Tula is so stoked about that. Oh, see that little yawn? What?